It is Vortex versus Foggy in the lower bracket round two. These guys are top six, but of course their ambitions are way higher. Foggy was eliminated from the winner bracket by Spiral in the quarterfinal. And Vortex, we've seen it, was just dropped by Happy with a two and one. Very impressive performance by Vortex throughout the entire tournament so far. But it feels like Night Elf is not his best matchup. Foggy, he's practicing for years now to beat Happy, finally. I... I think he's one of the best Night of Earth Undead player in the world, and I'm really curious if Vortex is ready for that. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. Foggy, this used to be by far his worst matchup before the Keeper days. Um, after that, he became a lot better and has been working on it meticulously over and over and over and has come very close to beating Happy. Wasn't able to do so in the last uh, few years, but has come very close, much closer than most others. But... Many of his strats are specifically tailor-made against Happy. And Vortex plays differently. Vortex, for example, plays Gargoyles. Happy doesn't play Gargoyles. Vortex plays a Ghoul opening. Happy doesn't play Ghoul opening. So, is Foggy also as perfectly prepared against that style? We'll see. Of course, Foggy faces other undeads outside of Happy as well, which normally he does reliably defeat. But Vortex is, without question, top three undead in Europe right now. Did you see that unmannered D&D there? Instead of, good luck, have fun. <laughs> no, knowing Foggy, that was intentional. <laughs> Vortex... Uh, game, uh, probably, oh, sorry. Yeah? game probably uh, already started. Ah, yeah, you were, ah, shit. Sorry, right. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah, Vortex with a little shout out to Blizzard. Are you looking uh, for advanced features like slash D&D? This is still an alpha. Greetings to Irvine. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the passionate and dedicated developers are hardly working, are, are working hard on advanced features like this. Oh, it seems like uh, Unkiss, by the way, is uh, willing to join us. Yes. I'm going to give him the link. I, I already sent him. Oh, okay. I have to answer him a little bit. So, Demon starting off with the gloves, that is probably the worst item, but there's many more to be found on Last Refuge. That is certainly a good bit of experience. Acolyte does not give away anything towards level 2. Vortex starting off with a Claws of Attack. In the game against Happy that he won, it was a Lich with plus 33 damage. That was pretty good. I'm certainly hoping to find similar... Damage upgrades here as well. Tech should be starting now for Vortex. It's a little bit slower with this ghoul build compared to the happy build, which is four ghouls into fiends. And that does matter. The tier 2 timing of the Naga is absolutely crucial in the middle of the map. Especially on this map, possibly more so than on many others, because there's two big eight Ogre Magi camps to contest for. And these consumable items can make or break a fight for either side. Look at this desperate skeleton minion here at the bottom right, just staring at that wisp. <laughs> reach. And now he falls into so, dust. Uh, uh, Mission failed. Said life, said life <laughs> if you can call it life. <laughs> after, said after life. All right, it feels like Foggy can't really take a fight right now against all these ghouls. Has boots now for more burns. That's good. But Vortex, what's he doing with his time? Is that the perfect usage? Why didn't Foggy just creep his natural for level 2? That's what I'm wondering. He knew that Vortex wasn't coming in to be aggressive, or should have known at least with the Wisp Scout. And now he's stuck on level 1 only. Nice block again. Oh. We keep on saying it. It's but still good. Nice detonate against it, but in the end it backfires, so the Wisp is gone without any effect. A player's forces are under attack. Classic Oof. foggy play on this map is go Naga, creep the natural, expand the natural on tier 2. Great. For Vortex, this is looking very much like Naga Naga. Okay, no second crypt. So, yeah. No Garrix again for the third time, fourth time in a row. 
these blocks. Oh, if he gets that kill, that's level two. <sighs> so surreal. Doesn't get it though. Well, that's a lot of damage on the DK now. That's a big deal. That means the tier two Naga won't be supported with Aura. Lore now. 25 supply only for Foggy. Wisp scouts it, checks for the double crypt. He's okay, not there. And here's the Naga now. Yeah, Foggy didn't have a Wisp at the tavern instantly to go for his own Naga. That perhaps a mistake. <clears throat> Do you think it's the right call to go for Naga here despite falling so low on HP on HP on, on the DK? I mean they're like the push is not that strong anymore here. It's about applying pressure. It's about being able to find kills. And Naga is always good unless Demon gets level 3. In every other scenario, she's good. Even Plus if the DK is so low, like he can really put a pressure on Foggy here, or the DK is at risk of dying. So well, Even if you kill one archer, maybe two, and you have to TP, it's okay. This is a lot of time where Foggy isn't creeping. And Frenzy Ghouls, especially when you're playing Ghouls. When you're playing ghouls, you want the early game to be super aggressive because the lower the hero levels are, the better frenzy ghouls are. Why wasn't Foggy buying the Naga? Like, he, he wasn't supply blocked and he had the gold. Didn't have a wisp in range. He had the DH next to the tavern there for some seconds and he didn't go for it. Maybe he's afraid of getting her surrounded. Yeah, probably. And this is, I don't know, how long are we into this game now? It's all heroes mm. level one. Seven minutes. Okay, there's the Naga now. Feeling more safe. This is a win for Vortex, right? Oh, Ooh, we're not. But okay, not for long. That's Fine. not something you're gonna hold. First mistake here by Vortex. Taking this camp is definitely a risk. Then trying to go for the surround. That doesn't work. Does mm -hmm. have a dust, but it's it's a great trade for Foggy. This is four ghouls probably going down. Yeah. Or one archer. Well, two. Two archers, I guess. Little greedy, there we go. Three archers. Naga okay. putting in the work. Should TP to save the fiend. Yeah. Okay. We're going to tier three, going okay, bears first. Probably up to 50 supply and then preparing for the 64 supply jump to mountain giants. And that's now both Ogre Magi. Going to Foggy. Experience isn't too looking too good for the Ukrainian. But oh, big in ball. That certainly is really nice. Oh, and snare on this archer. Left alone though. Yeah, finally time to grind some levels here. T3 by Vortex reached for the Lich immediately. Pretty slow early game. I mean, love is happening, but no one really got what he wanted. Yeah. I think Foggy definitely played this early way too aggro. As you know me, I like seeing myself an early level 3 demon. <laughs> but uh, Foggy went back to his own way, old ways. Playing pressure, not on level 2, but even on level 1, which is very much not his usual play anymore. By the way, is there any rule against using the, the skins for DH and DK? <laughs> I really want to see the female ones. Like, this is... Uh, but don't, get, point. don't get people triggered. I'm so happy we have the regular ones. So there's no ban, you saying? I'm not even sure if you can control it, to be honest. Hmm. Sometimes you just get them. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my female mountain giant skins. <laughs> I'll be going to. Yeah, I can't wait to spend the $25 on, on skins every month. It's kind of funny how Chad constantly reacts to them, even though the game is like three months old by now. Whenever there's a female DK or female DH, there's nothing... Like, even Balance has to step aside for <laughs> shitting on the models. Like, that says something. So we're getting there. Oh, Demon Hunter, level three, level two mana burn, swiping in and out. Typical foggy inventory with staff and boots. 
No level 3 by Vortex yet. But he will get the red spot here, I guess. So that should be... That should take him to the higher levels quickly. Ooh, second claw. Nice. A player's forces are under attack. With Destroyer Form, these red camps are pretty easily doable. Big item. Lots of experience. He takes the full one. Hunter coming in, sees this, can't steal it, too late, and a bit of cunning again. Forces a good bit of mana there. Dangerous though to go up to the high ground again, which he won't do. Instead he was fighting the Demon Hunter, not the smartest idea. I don't know too much about Warcraft, but that was a little bit of a mistake. Akula coming out. Vortex wanting to go for the proactive 50 expansion. A la Happy. Hey, why is Happy. Uh, why is Foggy staying so passive here? Uh, couldn't he just creep his lap or something? Like he's just camping here. Now he. It's kind of okay. weird. Now, what he's doing with the demon is really nice. He's canceling the expansion just with the demon so he's not wasting time with his entire army mo moving over there. He's getting ready to go up to double MG, up to 64 supply. That is the, I think, biggest power spike for Nidalf in this matchup. He has the first MG upgrade already. He has the lumber necessary. Uh, no, never mind. He's queuing more upgrades actually first in the Hunter's Home. Is it enough to have two MGs or do you need three on a map like this? Mm. Two Ooh. can be enough. Ooh, boy. <laughs> HP. Yep. That was really close. Too close for my liking. Would you invest into um, double staff here? I like being elf. I think it's definitely more useful to have the double staff instead of a blast of haze. I would yeah. always invest into double staff. But... Yeah, he does want to go double staff. So no way, definitely. Nice Fort position. Yeah. Fort Lightning was nice. First fiend down. Second one hurt. He's taking out a bear as well. Also a dryad falling. Second destroyer up. He will be dealing with these bears. Coil super clutch. And that's how a fight can look if you don't have mountain giants. This is the bear is taking all the damage, but Vortex is losing pretty much every single yeah. fiend. Tons of fiends going down. Naga in a rough spot. She doesn't have a TP or anything to protect her. With all that movement speed, seems like she's getting <laughs> run down. Doesn't seem like there's any saving her anymore. One more right click and she's dead. Level 3 for the Lich. Trying to get the counter kill on that Lich. Can he get it? Ooh, oh, slow. Oh, the slow. The frost armor. Did the creeps kill him or the dry? Archer, I'm not sure. Archer through the forest, I think. Looked like an arrow projectile. I think the troll actually got him. But yeah, there's not the much creep, experience. Like, the experience of the demon is really low. Yeah, that's the two. But he's going yeah, for the... I think that was the, that was the troll. Like, there was too much damage for that Archer. Denied. Demon! Are you kidding me? There was a big Why invul! Run back? There was a big invul on this! Uh, Neo, do the sound. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> not, that one, not that one, though. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. Double kill on the heroes. Demon Hunter so back from the cover. Takes. First of all, the TP wasn't on the Naga. The split is always supposed to be TP on the Naga, Tele Staff on the Demon, Preservation Staff on the Naga, and Invul on the Demon. So it was mostly correct, but the incorrect part was TP not on the Naga. And then, of course, the next one losing the Demon. That's more mistakes than you're usually allowed to make. Talisman of Evasion, useless for the DH. Foggy, are you going to Mountain Giants now? Yes. So, before 50 supply, I always feel like that's it's really not what you want. A player's forces are under attack. Because then you lack damage. Like, if you build Mountain Giants, then really the 50 to 64 jump. That's where they seem... Dude, this Ultra of Elders. Where's the Naga going to pop up? There's two holes here where she's going to be stuck. 
Oh. There's a hole between the moon world and there's a hole at the trees. But if you if you use your waypoint correctly, you sh it shouldn't. Like if you use double waypoint, it usually never. Like since I started using double waypoint, it never happened to me anymore. So but if there's a building exactly at your waypoint, it's not reliable. And there's a. Mm. The What's a double right? waypoint? I bet you f set the first waypoint right next to the altar, and then the second one farther away. With shift. Like, uh, with shift. At least someone said that would help, and like for me, it worked. But. Yeah, you're right. This is a very awkward. Yeah, can easily pop into that surround. Foggy with the yours expansion. That looks desperate. Yeah, but it might work. It's exactly what yours said in the cast prior. Build an expansion where your opponent crept the spot and he might not expect it. Town is under Oh, here comes the flank. Vortex so fast, plus 30% movement speed. Once again, the Naga is the weakness. This time she has the health stone at least. Oh, the DK though. Is he perhaps the weakness? There's no TP. Oh, but a lot of invuls. Demon Hunter is catching a lot of fire once again. Invul potion pop for a long time, of course. Let's just take care of these dryads. Destroyer seems to be in rage, but a bear falls for that. So it's a decent trade. Level 4 on the lich now. More and more damage on these bears. They are not a factor in this anymore. Taunt, taunt, taunt. Keep and up. that's an invul potion. Well played by Vortex to swap over that item. And now the demon hunter has to be staffed out. That's a lack of damage for sure. But the lich has to go for the second invul. Dude, is that close? Can he taunt him again? Out of range. Staff back in. The demon returns. And a lot of slow against this Naga. This should be the kill, I think. Taunt also slowing her down just a little bit. Oh, but the boots coming in. And the aura from the DK. Heal throw for Vortex. Desperately needed. He goes for two. And with that. Oh, oh it's, dude, everything's so hurt. Yep. Two heal throws used right away. But they did help out a ton. This fight is pretty insane. Can't really kill the Mountain Giant. Fiend is dead thanks to the reveal. Demon Hunter or DK? What's gonna fall? Is there a staff? Yes, there's a staff ready. Hey, and also a potion apparently. Hellstone first. Lots of damage on this demon. Also on the DK. No fog lightning though. Oh my god, this move speed. Oh boy. Demon Hunter has to turn around. Isn't he just walking into Naga and Lich? I think there was an opportunity to kill him. He's desperate on the high ground. Naga! Killed by the creeps, but dies for the third time, second time. And that's the mountain giant down as well. Oh, if he had saved himself with the Zeppelin, it would have been such a sick play. Did you see these expos? Like, Foggy's expos at the bottom right? <laughs> that's so greedy. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, the Naga. Dryads need slow, oh. but there's a frost arrow. Oh, no. <sighs> Steph now. It is a fun game now, though. Yeah, man. These fights are crazy. Dude, this expo is still not found. <laughs> Yours expansion, man. He's hammering this into our head since 2014, probably. Yeah. Like, normally you want to go for corner bases, not for his natural. <laughs> I think it's a good call, especially um, with Vortex Expo here on the left. It's very unlikely that he's going to scout his own natural, and there's no need for him to, say, to take a second Expo yet. There's just a bare knuckle box fight. <sighs> 50 supply by four. Where are the 50 supply? 400 heroes, though. Oh, it's it's ah, five, ah. Four, level four under, level, five level four heroes, I guess, to be precise. But obviously, that's a big lead for the undead. What Foggy is supposed to have here is five five. That would make the game kind of even. What's Foggy's damage, by the way? Isn't that an issue? Uh, certainly not the MGs. Oh, the bear? Oh no, the Miss Rally. Okay. Foggy. That should tell him that the Demon Hunter is somewhere there. Yeah. But maybe but in a tense situation like this, you're not thinking about it. What does it matter? You have a narrow tower. It's not like this Demon Hunter is going to kill you. <laughs> okay, <Antibody>. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he's so close to seeing this expansion all yeah, the time. Yeah, if only he saw it, man. You already got a thousand gold out of that, right? <laughs> Dude, the statue almost saw it as well. <laughs> oh my god. It's about to be a quad kill. But okay, he's reacting to the demon hunter now. Staff out, no disable. Dude, that this expansion is working. He also deep, he's gonna have up. a lot of MGs here. He's gonna have four MGs. Yep. I hope he doesn't go pure MGs. Foggy, you need some damage. You need some dryads. He was such a big fan of the marksmanship oh, archers, but I doubt it's too late for that against this Lich and Naga. Also, no bears. The bears oh. just constantly die. <laughs> but when, now that there's four MGs, it's gonna be uh, hard, I guess, to keep focusing out. This. Position is a nightmare, by the way. How is Foggy supposed to engage into that? You know, with four MG, that's not that easy. Why is he pulling back here? I think that was a perfect choke. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he's going to scout now. Is he? The ghoul, what? yes. Or maybe he did? Like, why would he send a ghoul there instead of a scanner? Just making sure because he knows there must be an expansion somewhere. It Probably. has to be somewhere. And then rather send the ghoul. Okay, four MGs. They're all ready and they're finding the fiends. Taunt in the middle of all of them. Fork lightning to clean this up on the both sides. Demon Hunter in trouble. Has a potion, has an invul. That looks rather good. Same inventory on the DK, actually. Super close to five. And Foggy sees, I have no damage. I can't hurt the Scourge. Bye bye. But that opens up the expansion. Main gold mine's down, by the way. It's a headbutt party. And the Acolytes demanding their, their mine here. Give away nature. Let me haunt this next fight. And he could kite him into this choke. Demon Hunter focus once again. Giant seem to be safe, but also not the biggest fact. We don't have frost armor here, do we? Shouldn't he ignore the, the mountain giants and try to like keep out of range? But Kind of hard with that position. Oh, yeah. Demon Hunter again. He just needs to... Focus whatever's in range of the fiends. If there's yeah. a better target than the MGs, go for that. But if it's only the MGs, then go for the MGs. And they only have one defense upgrade, so that's really making some difference here. It almost looks as if they don't have hardened skin yet, but I guess it's just the, the Lich Orc. This is 3 2 fiends, dude. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Strong fiends. So now the Night Elf has the problem that whenever he staffs, it's not in his main, it's not at the Moonwells. It's right at a position where Vortex will push into. It's looking really good for him. Foggy doesn't have enough supply. 60 supply or whatever it is. That's not the numbers you need. 80. <sighs> yeah. Oh my god, the MG is getting nuked so hard. Mana burn on the DK. There's no coil at all anymore. One MG down though. The bear just getting massacred in the front row. He wants the hero kill. He wants the Naga. Switches to the demon. There was a heal potion. So that's fair. Fork lightning is back. Level 5 on the Naga. Lich in trouble. Invo potion traps again. He wants the hero kill. That's his last ditch effort in this game. But good invo usage here by Vortex. Really nice transfers. Heal pot as well. And Frost Armor, Foggy sees no chance, no chance anymore. GG! Alright guys, it was a pleasure. As we would say in German, the Pflicht ruft. <laughs> <laughs> the duty calls, a, pretty much. Yeah, uh, calls, gotta cast an FML game. Uh, yeah, really, uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, amazing to see all these tournaments and, and streams, so... Um, Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Same for you, yeah. man. Hightech is going to cast FFAs now at twitch.tv slash FFA Masters League. So fire up that multi-Twitch and give this project a lot of follows and views and whatever. What's the game today? Do we have any names that one might know? Ina is going to play. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. lots of pauses in that game, probably. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we, we... Yeah, the penalties were... Uh, yeah, he... he... He knows. He knows. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we will be live in roughly 25 minutes uh, with a 15-minute delay. And Inar is going to play. And um, 
some other uh, well-known FA names. So um, yeah, uh, thanks for having me and uh, good uh, good luck. And thank you thank so you. much. Always a pleasure with you. Enjoy and greetings to the FFA community. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. So where the fuck is Ankus? I just said told him the game name. He's uh, in the lobby. Ah. Did you tell him the Discord yeah. link? Good. So do you have the game name? Are you in? Yes, yeah. I'm in already. Nice. Just desperately waiting for the human game for three hours. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, ding dong. The king <laughs> of the one-liners. Ankis is back. How you doing? Great. I've been working back to Warcraft uh, during the in the night. <laughs> Full uh, Dust League season season four or which one is it? Right yeah, now? exactly. Yeah, so you... then I'm in next, and then I'm here. What happened in Dust League? Uh, Who won? Um, uh, Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Was he even playing yesterday? No. <laughs> but yeah, Damn good, it. good try. <laughs> nice, nice, nice try, Uncle. That's what you're here for. So why are you doing good if the Night Elf is losing? Are you betraying your race? I'm not sure if you have the same, but do you root against your own race so that you can prove your point that your race is trash? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Well, <laughs> we have happy, so it's really hard to make that argument. Oh, yeah, true. Say so was trying to do that this morning with 1 to 0 versus Chimiko, though. Oh. It is a thing. <laughs> so I'm not the only one. Yeah, but first game was really crazy. Night Elf was losing his hero every two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Foggy was playing aggressively on level one. I hope he yeah, it was weird. anymore. He was re really squishy. I mean, his Demon Hunter had like no items. He had Gloves of Haste, but no real survivability items. No circlets, no pendants of vitality, nothing like that. So Foggy is going for the super safe creep at the green. Why is he doing mm. this over the Tuscar camp? Uh, I think he just wants this permanent items. He wants this camp and then the small one, get uh, level two and two permanent items and then go aggressive. But why? Think... He could just be creeping level 3 instead. Yeah. I think level 3 is actually a lot better. You are right. All along. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you. Educating <laughs> us, us, stupid nightles. Uh, so, Ankis, uh, for a noob like me, uh, why is the ward not a possibility as the first hero in um, other maps than uh, Tarina's stand? Against Undead? I, uh, generally. I mean, it's okay against Human, against Undead it's not that great because Undead has a lot of healing possibilities like Death Pact, so you, you can't really kill uh, the, um, his first hero and the other ones can be healed. So Shadow Strike is not that effective, also statues are pretty good at countering Fun of Knives until it's not level true. 3. I mean, they're playable. Content. They're barely playable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. yeah. Because for, me, is good. Sorry. Yeah, for yeah. me, it feels like Night of All often misses some like nukes, like human or undead have. Yeah. I was experimenting a bit with Dark Ranger and Peter so that I can't be coiled, but I have no catch potential. <laughs> 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 It actually is not that bad. On Echo Isles, it's pretty, pretty, pretty decent. I mean, Dark Ranger overall is pretty good at Echo Isles. Yeah, I like that you mentioned catch. Catch against Anand is really important, especially once DK gets level four. You guys know how I love talking about the race car <laughs> hack that is level two aura. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is probably the main reason why Orc does historically the best against Undead. They have hex, they have stomp, they have ensnare. Lots of ways to lock them down. Whereas Night Elf. Pretty much only have Dryads and yeah, Naga. Phantom. There's also a big yeah. reason why playing Panda is so risky. Panda, first of all, very reliant on levels. If you get the levels, that's good, but still, it's only damage. It's not really good catch or chase. Yeah, Drunken Haze slows down a little bit, but that can also be dispelled. And it's also a lot about tempo in the mid game where Naga is much better. 
And yeah, you don't have ensnares. It's just dryads that you have to make use of. Dryads are good for the spell, but also die quickly to fiends. So, you know, in the past it was always a joke, like Nidal just plays a lot of bears and A clicks the ground. But nowadays, to properly play on a high level against Undead, you have to micro really well. Your focus fire, your kiting, all has to be really top notch to hang with the best. Yeah, it's really hard. But it's doable. But it makes Demon Hunter like the only viable choice because you can then disable Undead Heroes and make it a lot harder for him to kite because he can't spam Nova, for example. Forces are under attack. On your burst. With Keeper, for example, if you play Keeper, Alchemist, and Burst Dreads, it's almost impossible to win fights in the late game because DK is just healing everything and kiting, and you can't really kill anything because of that. Yeah. Wouldn't it be possible to creep the one to level three um, fast on certain maps and use Shadow Strike first to pressure the decay and then to snack up fiends? I mean, it's possible maybe on TS because you can get level three really quickly and then you yeah. get also really good items. But anywhere else, it's a lot harder. You invest more because you need uh, double ancient of wars and then that is uh, has a lot quicker tech because you have to invest more and. It all kind of fucks up with your timings. I think Warden is really bad against Nanda because this yeah, kill potential so is, not, is not that great. Like even if you have a good early game with the Warden, if you, even if you kill some stuff, unless she gets level six, she's just a bad fighter. She's yeah. just. I think she's kind of trash. <laughs> <laughs> so Warden is playing Naga second, but passively he's creeping. He's not going aggro, which in this game turns to be the better choice because the demon's level 3, and this changes everything. Yeah. This makes the Naga so much more difficult to play. The demon burns her three times. With that, she's half dead, and he doesn't have mana anymore. So I wonder why Vortex went Naga in the first place. When Happy yeah. plays here on this map against the Demon Hunter from Foggy, he also gets level 3 demon pretty quick. This pretty much always happens on the Northern Isles. But Happy plays Lich then and then plays him passively and creeping. So I'm not so sure about this mid-game decision by Vortex. Also very good items on DH. I, I personally really like rings and circlets on DH. Yeah. I prefer that to gloves and the cross even. Cross I think are really good for creeping because it speeds up, but for actual fighting it's not that impactful. It's, it's it, I mean, it orb, it orb is doing a lot more damage than the actual, you know, right clicks. So I prefer to have like a lot of tanking items so that I can be more annoying, just run around uh, the uh, undead army and mana burn constantly. Yeah, absolutely. If you have high armor, if you have level 4 for evasion, Demon Hunter is super tanky. You can yeah, always so ensure sure that he's staying in and burns. And also something that people don't consider, but when you have rings, you save more moon juice because you know you have more damage mitigation, so yeah. you you get less damage and therefore it costs less to kill your hero, which is a fit, which is important. Oh Naga, almost oh dying. I think three archers went down, right? But that's also a ghoul dying. That's an invul committed. That should be another ghoul going down. Pretty even trade. <clears throat> oh, this Naga might die. Okay, TP used and invul used. Yeah, he also killed one ghoul. No, two even ghouls. two. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Propruna, for the four month resub. Angus, when you play Demon Hunter second, for example, Keeper Demon Hunter combo, do you also always misclick and press F1 when you're trying to Yeah, get yeah, <laughs> I do that all the time. Dude, I do that all the time when I play Lich first and stuff. And it's even worse when I go Demon Hunter first. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Who plays Demon Hunter third? I do. <laughs> I tried that against human. <laughs> ah. With my triple orb. Well, I mean with star-shaped triple orb. Ah, Strat. triple orb, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Sasha plays Keeper Naga Pod and Triple Orb. Yeah, I tried that with Bottom, with uh, Dark Ranger, with Fire Lord, <laughs> and with uh, Demon Hunter now. <laughs> no, would be a good change to the Fire Lord if Cleave applies Orb of Venom to everything that you cleave, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I think that might be even a bit broken. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little I mean, bit. <laughs> I mean, Knight of needs the help, right? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I was thinking that it would be cool for Fire Lord Soulburn. Uh, to be undispellable, but nerfed a bit. 
like half of effect of current effectiveness, but maybe undispellable. Mm. So you can only cast so every was, second spell? Uh, no, you, it, it silences you, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you will be, I, I don't know, silenced for, I don't know what it is now, six seconds or something. So it will be three seconds, for example. Is the only debuff that cannot be dispelled acid bomb? I think so, yeah. Well, I guess. Jang off endurance again. For what? Technically, the shadow strike tick thing, uh, if you want to count that. Damn, these ghouls are dying quick, though. And the destroyer also. Man, this is a nasty creep jack by Foggy. Aiming for the Lich. Next, can't quite get that kill, but perhaps the Naga is a kill he can find. In fact, she is going down. Mm -hmm. Along with Vortex's chances of winning this game. That was Ouch. rough. Yeah, that uh, I think even Neutron would say that that was a good creep jack. <laughs> I saw the clip again of the Nobody Cares Bro, the original one. And your their ass is actually a little chuckle from you. I'm corpsing so hard. <laughs> 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 Foggy also expanding now. Nobody cares. <laughs> he knows exactly that this is his time now. Yeah. There's no way for Vortex to, to like compete with anything. These bears are on a journey in the back of the underbase. Oh, the Lich was also on a journey. Where did he come from? Well, he's <laughs> back That's to fun. the grave now. <laughs> Lich back to the grave and Vortex back to the lobby. Throws himself, Demon Hunter. Oh! I was oh, just was waiting for that. Yeah. And with the power of Night Elves, here he is back again, full HP, just a second later. <laughs> the Naga is also back, though. Um, yeah, well, there's no orb. Um, Grounded. Oh, the DK Speedy. Oh my god. Speedy. Yeah, so it's only level 1 aura. Yeah, but his endurance. Bestest mouse in Mexico. Oh, we lost quite a bit there. But, uh, Vortex mm. lost quite a bit plus than some. And this decay. <laughs> is he gonna get him? He's trying to block him with Dryad. Oh, yeah. that's move that Dryad a little bit better, maybe. Maybe yeah. with the entrance of war. AOE block. <laughs> oh, where is oh, Zeppelin? Oh. I'm gonna get Zeppelin. Oh. Oh. oh, you could have stolen it. What a yeah. noob. <laughs> well, Vortex oh, lives Naga. closer to the server, so. This Naga is kind of helping. Hello. Yeah, Lich has mana as well. Okay, I'll destroy Ah, but TP. It's all time for the bear to kill the fiend. Uh, now Omni's reunited. Yeah, he didn't dispel region time. GG! Yeah, G Foggy back in the series. Strong play. I think that Naga's second is a big mistake. If you don't play aggressively, yeah. if you yeah. don't play skills, if he's already level 3 demon, just go Lich second and play passive creep. I think Northern Knights is a really good uh, Night of Map nowadays because of that level 3 demon reliability, along with Echo Isles. Yeah, it's probably the safest map to creep. Level 3 demon. This and Amazonia. Also, it's easy to like get good items. Next is up, Terrana Stand. Same game Same name. name? Yep. Okay. Here we might see actually Warden. It's possible. I would hmm. be... From everyone else but Foggy, I would be surprised. From Foggy, not too much. I could see that. I mean, he played Warden versus Orc today. So. <laughs> On Terrena stand, right? Uh, Remo, was it TS? Oh, huh? is it me? <clears throat> Warden on Terrena stand against Sparrow? Orc. Yes. He was like pushing tier two with Naga. Uh, or what? I just heard about the warden. We weren't in the okay. game. Okay. Are we all in? Yes. Good. I wonder if we will see Gargs. 
I would we wonder that uh, since since yesterday <laughs> afternoon. It's a great expansion map. And you know, when Undead leaves this map in the pool, you must be wondering, what is your plan? Because normally this is always the first veto that Undeads go for. And it's a different build indeed. Whereas we saw the happy openings before, now it's a good old ghoul opening. Which could so mean... We yeah, we might see Garks. Cast Expo. Oh, expansion, yeah. Maybe Dreadlord. Do you like playing against Garks? No. <laughs> I hate it. I think everyone but, <laughs> Yeah. It was even worse when when Secret Valley was in the map, and that map was garbage. Dude, Chris earlier was on as our first guest, and he said Secret Valley, he wants it back. It's his favorite map. And also a really awesome map was Melting Valley. <laughs> I think multi Valley wasn't as bad as Secret Valley. He's palming with both my hands, like, what? <laughs> that was so bad. Was he playing Gork? Uh, no, I think he's undead. What? <laughs> that makes even less sense. <laughs> Demon Hunter, there is no Warden. Mm. Uh... No Dreadlord as well, probably. Oh my god! Yeah. There was no hero in the altar for a second. Yeah. Oh. Neutral hero. Maybe Crypt Lord? <laughs> Crypt Lord. <laughs> Man, I was losing to Crypt Lord first for a long time. Oh, when there was a meta. First. But it was like 10 years ago, I think, when there was oh. this Garg meta, and I was playing Beastmaster first every single time, and he was actually really bad against Crypt Lord, I think. And Crypt Lord and the early Fiends, Fiends build, because you can't harass Crypt Lord creeps and expands easily. And this master is pretty useless with this against uh, Crypt Lord, his Beatles and Jeans. Do you miss the Beast Master being yeah, good? Yeah, I loved that hero. I still do. But he's trash. <laughs> do you know that his uh, Quill Beast level 3 have AoE damage? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. But it's like the that. same as the old Orb of Fire, right? So like... Oh yeah, I think so. Little, I think, I think 35% or something like that. Oh, actually, I killed the wisp. <laughs> Got him. Lots of headbutts. Can you get the renegade as well? It would be so sick. Oh, anything. Oh, Ancient nice. of War is really low. Dude, to... what happened Super here? Time. The acolyte got... He got him. Yeah? Not, not... Oh my god. It's a little boy. Oh god. That's so bad and the vortex is expanding. Oh man. One and a half already. Should... But at least he saved Ancient of War, but that's still pretty bad. Of energy. Doesn't do that much for him right now because his mana pool was so low anyways. But later on, it's gonna be pretty good. Losing that Scout Wisp really hurts for something like this, right? Yeah. No, he's pretty much freely expanding, setting up uh, Nerubian Tower. <laughs> then, Here we go again. <laughs> Again. Oh, another wisp. Oh, no, he has no mana. Do you think he's gonna remake it in time for when he arrives on tier two? Hmm? Remake what? He sold the altar. Do you think he's gonna remake in uh -huh. time when he arrives on tier two to tech to tier three? <laughs> That's a hard question. I think side side sometimes forgets it, or somebody. I think side did that uh, against the neutron. Everybody forgets it all the time, you know. <laughs> yes. It's it's not something you do really like this altar. You build it once again. Yeah. Oh, almost. Yeah, yeah. About that yeah. Then you just keep on forgetting about it. Ziggurat finishes. Narrow coming. Uh oh, thirty seconds until oh, yeah. until Kill the game it. is over. Yep. Race against the cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good good block by Vortex oh, again. Block. This berserker had no oh, impact God. to this game. And look at this. this uh, what the fuck? Is Vortex hard Korean? Is he related to Chimiko? He must be the <clears throat> Spanish Korean sibling. Oh, he's not gonna cancel it. Nerubian is up. Oh, heal pot! Oh. Focus is the wrong target! Not focusing! Oh! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Focus oh. it, demon! Oh. What a waste! Oh my god, he lost everything. TP, greater healing, troll. By the way, he he just started his tech, so it's even it's almost as late as uh, Vortex. What? 
That's oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, there's a tree. Right. Ah, he Please went for... Yeah. No, he's the one. Ancient of War. It's really late. A player's forces are under attack. Nice tree of life coming up at the next Oh my god, he's... Attack. Another Let's troll, maybe? Keep this block party up. My god, how is he's he so it. good at that? I mean, he has the Kyora. It's not that hard. <laughs> 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 He has permanent speed scroll and permanent health. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> Same goes for surrounding. You know how hard it is to surround the immobilized unit with entangle? <laughs> it's really hard, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, but truth to be told, I don't know what it is, but it is hard to surround cyclone the units. Well, you have like two minutes to get that surround close, yeah, so... I still can I, I still can get it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I cyclone one rider, then I miss my surround and do it like three times more, and then I'll <laughs> this entire map and gives me level 5 to see. <laughs> that's like bait. That's bait for the night out. Yes, <laughs> Okay, so can he actually contest this expansion? How many archers we have? One archer, one troll. Foggy has like nothing. He has 22 supply. He lost so much. Is he gonna go Panna? I mean, uh, I think he's not tried. I've seen a lot of Night Elves in Nettie's playing uh, Alchemist against Gargs. What's mm. Demon Hunter? Yeah, Demon Elk. Mm. And Dryads. Mm, that's interesting. Not sure why. I mean, I guess it's. Decent because you can't uh, dispel Alchemist Bomb with uh, yeah. Stone also, Form. You can't get countered by uh, Heal Scroll so badly. Yeah, yeah. As the Panda does. Also, it's not that reliable. I mean, that reliant on uh, hero levels, maybe. With Panda, you really need to level 3 badly. Oh, Vortex is not going Gargs, by the way. It's just transitioning to Fiends, probably. Or maybe Necros. <laughs> Necros? Necros OP? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that call, by the way, it's an alchemist. Oh, yeah. That's not is, but much. Is he expecting guards then? I, I guess he has to. I think so. But that's not the case. <clears throat> but it's really, really looking bad for Foggy. This expansion is like standing there for two minutes or not. Or something. Vortex not forgetting about the altar, super important, tier 3 on the way. More yeah. towers at the base. And the DK alone is using a lot of time of Foggy, but here's the level 3 plus Acid Bomb. Bye bye, Death Knight. I mean, he out heals with his aura. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of true, actually. Like, the damage is really minimal. Yeah. I don't even know what it is. It's like 70 or something on level 1? 70 Acid HP bomb? per second, yeah. yes. Okay. It used to be more in 1.0. Yeah, yeah. If only we could go back. Yeah. <laughs> I would <was> hang myself. <laughs> Dude, Vortex can explode up to 70, 80 really quick if he wants. Yeah. But it's a thing. Yeah, I think there are bombs probably. Throw in two meat wagons. What's a good third hero? You don't even need Naga, really. Like, controlling the demon is not the problem. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure. A player's force How is Foggy's Tree of Life so hard? Tank creeps. Yeah. Huh. Oh my god, one sapper, dude. One sapper, one <laughs> yeah. opportunity. Yeah, true. <laughs> dude, if Foggy gets eliminated by a sapper in this tournament, that would be so ironic. Uh... But you see, you, you only need one zapper to kill Elf main, but you can't kill the Nerubian with three zappers. <laughs> 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 yeah, Spiral oh. showed that yesterday, that it's pretty impossible. Ankus, <laughs> I think you win we need you on every cast, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these poison creeps. Yeah. And I have statues, like, it must be so awful for everyone else. Yeah, especially Dryad because they're unarmored and you can't heal them easily. Remo, we, human, really, it's fine. we really have to stop praising statues. It's not gonna be good for <laughs> us. <laughs> I, 
I stunned this yesterday. Oh, gonna... Dude, imagine a creep dragon over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, he dude. doesn't even have Q scrolls. That's, that's oh. fucking. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. But we did instant GG. There is no TP. How good would a heal spray be? Ah! 1 1 yeah. 1 build. At least level 1? Yes, yeah. it's 1 yeah. 1 1. Chemical rage. It's trash. Yeah, I'm not sure. Neutron plays it as well. One, one, I one? think it's okay with no, Basser, with... but with Dryads you prefer to have Healing Spray. With Chemical with Rage. Ooh, two base, two base, huh? This is always good for undead. Naga. Yeah, okay. I think Pit Lord could have also been cool. Like maybe you get one or two Howls out and just a big tank with Cleave. Yeah, Pit Lord would be, I think, decent. Howl against Dryads? I mean, it's not only going to be Dryads, right? The bears are coming yeah. up. But I mean, on the important targets, you can dispel, and there's Roar to counter it, so the effect is <clears> zero. Yeah, but it's, it's mostly about like having a tank and cleave later. Yeah. Who'd you give? Who'd you give close to? Oh, then? Or to... oh my god! <laughs> Wait, didn't he have Iden? No. no. Uh, only self teleportation. Oh my god! That's oh. really bad. Oh, okay. Foggy is out. Lower bracket round two. What? Yeah, yeah, coming back. back. Tournament. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. One night of surviving past first loser bracket round already was shocking to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this is a, a tournament where the first eliminations are neutron. Okay, that was to be expected. Hawk and Foggy. Yeah. Sick. And against Undead, and I always thought that he was really strong in this matchup because of his constant practice against Happy. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all, but this was not the and foggy was... that brought Happy to a full best of five. Yeah, no. Yeah. Not the best shape at all, I'm afraid. Yeah, that game went really awful since the beginning. Yeah, first creep stolen at the camp. Easy expo. I think that attack at the expansion was really awful. He lost like two trolls, uh, greater yeah. healing, TP, and he didn't accomplish anything. Yeah. yeah. Expo then late, or uh, attack yeah, super yeah. late. Yeah, because he lost so many trolls, he couldn't then force uh, his own expansion in because he couldn't creep it with uh, Decay and Goose being around. But if he had two more trolls and greater healing, then he would probably be able to set up this expansion a lot quicker. Yeah, uh, okay, so no Foggy versus Happy in this tournament. Maybe a rematch, maybe Vortex is gearing up for that grand final, that Cinderella story. Here we have the bracket. Happy versus mm -hmm. Spiral in the winner bracket final. Cash versus the Muslim next. Human versus Orc coming up. Finally. Finally the human game for soon, <laughs> so he can talk <laughs> as well. And then Cash will offer himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's the Muslim still. I, I wonder why Cash was playing Elf against Spiral. That was that seemed weird. Yeah, that was one of the very few two O's that we broadcasted here today. Damn. Right? And it was really one-sided. Spiral played really well. So we started the top eight with uh, two players of each race, Night Elves out human with one in two orcs two undeads little 